this anywhere else. What is up guys, my name is Fiago and today we are in Frankfurt, Germany. Massive city, look at those skyscrapers behind me. But today we're gonna focus on different kind of architecture rather. And to be precise, Eintracht Frankfurt Stadium, the Waldstadion. Yes, today is the day Frankfurt are gonna face the mighty FC Barcelona in the Europa League quarterfinals. And last night, all of a sudden, I really had no idea, but I was able to get a ticket for what's possibly, not possibly, but surely the biggest game of German football in 2022 so far. There's gonna be 48,000 seats today in the stadium and there was far over 200,000 people who wanted to get tickets here. I think even over 250,000 people who wanted to see this game. In case you don't know, Frankfurt fans are also considered one of the best fan bases in Germany, if not the best. They regularly go to European away games with 20, 25,000 people no matter where. Today the Ultras will be back as well, so I'm just hyped as hell for the atmosphere, for the scenes today. And of course I'm also hyped to see the rejuvenated FC Barcelona side of Xavi they are doing so incredible and I'm not sure if Frankfurt even though they have their fans at the back but do you guys think they can compete with the Catalan Giants today and I'm also so curious to see our seats because I got my ticket today from the lads at TFC they invited me that is the upcoming fantasy football game that I actively play as well and they told me it's not gonna be any ticket it is a special ticket let's see about that it's getting kind of windy here let's go to the stadium Okay guys, we're two and a half hours before kickoff. It's a little bit the calm before the storm still. Most people will arrive probably in like one hour. I'm a bit early because I want to get into the stadium two hours before kickoff. That's when they let us in. All right guys, met the first two Frankfurt fans today. What is your prediction for the game? 2-1 uh, for Frankfurt. For Frankfurt. And two you bro? 2-1 for Frankfurt. Let's go. But honestly guys, I've never ever been to a game with so much police officers around. The stadium is in a kind of forest and in this forest I've seen at least 50 of those big police buses and there's even helicopters. We made it guys, the tickets worked, I wasn't sure, but now we are in front of the stadium. Guys, the Barca bus is coming there as well. Wow, now it's getting heated. The buses came in, Barca bus, Frankfurt bus, and also uh, there's more and more fans now. I just want to find my seat. Here's some training pitches as well, and then... There is a lot of stuff here. The fan shop is here. Here, they honor their legend, Jürgen Grabowski, who sadly passed away a few weeks ago. And I think our entry might be here. Guys, you will not believe that. I was just told I'm an honorary guest, and they're getting me my table now. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, so now I get it. The seats are actually VIP seats. I can't believe this, man. This is surreal. I'm eating healthy today, guys. Very, very healthy. But the wine is a must. <laughs> Okay guys, the burger was nice, the pasta was nice, everything, vino, apple juice, a lot of apple juice, quite a lot. The VIP area is amazing, but that's not what we came for, right? We came for the game. Do you guys think these guys, these passionate lads, supported by their even more passionate fans, are good enough to beat this, well, we have to say super team? I'm actually gonna say a 2 two for this game in Frankfurt. I don't think Frankfurt will lose at home. Now it's time to get to our seats and let's see what kind of view we have. Guys. What the hell? I literally just met Zonny Kittel from HSV. Here you see him and I asked him, will you get promoted this season? And he said yes, yes, so that means yes! No fucking way, these are all seats, guys. Like, almost first row. Here we see all the TV reporters. Here the Frankfurt Ultras. Here, over there, there's the Barca players. And here, there is the Frankfurt players. Over there are the Barca fans, they're not too many. How I miss full stadiums, guys. Let's go. 
coming onto the pitch, guys. And look at this beauty! Barcelona heavily, guys. Oh, I are getting better now, guys. Fans are pushing them. Kostic taking it former Hans Foe player, let's go. Not VAR, please. He's checking VAR now. You hey! Hey! Was? Hey! No penalty! Okay guys, half time. I would say Barcelona were really, really dominant. In the first 30 minutes, they really controlled the game. Adama Traoré impressed so much. Gavi was very, very good as well in my opinion. But then, after the 30th minute, Frankfurt got better and better. Also, of course, um, helped by their fans who are absolutely incredible. Have been singing for 45 minutes straight now. It's just a joy to watch, no matter if the game is good or not. I don't know if the penalty was a penalty or not, but it's just so, so good to be here and just witness the atmosphere. Take it in. I want to record as much as possible for you to experience this as well. Second half, guys. Welcome to German football. Oh! Almost two, almost two. Good. I drop one foot. I drop one foot. them to stop the flares, they just don't care. When you can bring on Frenkie de Jong and Ousmane Dembélé at once. Absolutely crazy. One, one guys. Unlucky. Eintracht fans don't care. Second yellow for Tuta from Frankfurt. They're playing with 10 men now. It's gonna be tricky for them now. Last 10 minutes. Yeah. Ah. This guy just got subbed on. He almost scored. Oh. Close one, almost to one for Barca. So now in the last minutes, it's only Barcelona playing. Obviously, they're one man more, but Frankfurt, they have to give everything to not concede. Javi's fuming because it's not getting a corner. <laughs> game over guys, 1-1, one, one. what a game!
atmosphere crazy. Barca fans are clapping for Eintracht players. Respect, respect guys. Goosebumps guys, absolute goosebumps at seats. You don't see this anywhere else. Come in. They won't leave guys, like none of them has left. So one more time, let's appreciate this stadium here. Absolutely beautiful, of course also due to the fans. And I'm hyped to be here hopefully in the Euro 2024 when it's gonna host some games. Man, it's one whole party here. People are so, so happy about this result. <laughs> It's not a win, but it's something that puts Frankfurt on the map. They got a draw against the mighty Barcelona, and um, that makes them proud. Apparently you can chill, eat and drink in that VIP area for pretty much as long as you want, but I don't need that. I just witnessed a great game, let's talk about it. Ah, guys, I've arrived back at the hotel now, and what was that? First 30 minutes, um, I think Barcelona were very dominant. It showed that they are just the better team, and yeah, they had the game under control, but then I would say from minute 30 to 60, Eintracht came back, pushed massively by their fans, who once again i know i i praise them all the time but they deserve the praise i am not sure if you guys saw that like if the video material transmits the atmosphere properly but i am telling you this is the best atmosphere i've ever witnessed in any of my stadium visits not just in my vlogs because those were obviously most of them in pandemic times where we didn't have full stadiums but even in my overall stadium visits i've been several times to hamburg and to gladbach also on european nights and without any bias for hsv i do think our fans are amazing but frankfurt fans this is another level i don't know any fan base that seriously sings for the whole 90 minutes like i didn't just show you the highlights of the frankfurt fans they sang for the whole 90 I'm not lying to you here. Literally. There was not a single minute where they didn't sing their chants. And this is so inspirational. I think you barely see that anywhere in the world, let alone the top five leagues. This was a 10 out of 10 stadium experience for me, especially with that VIP, which I don't really need, but it was nice as well. So thank you so much once again to the lads from TFC who made this possible, who didn't only build an amazing fantasy football game, but they also have a great heart. And I think the game as well is worth talking about. Expect a video there soon that, by the way, I produced before I even had any clue that they were going to give me a ticket. So seeing you there and also let me know in the comments, of course, which stadium, which game do you want me to visit next? I'm going to Hamburg soon to watch the DFB Pokal semi-final, but after that, the choice is yours. I'm going to bed now. It was a really stressful but unforgettable day. Stadium Vlog Fiago is out. Peace.